Let's take a peek at where we left off. This is our index file, this is our CSS file, and those are all the other pages. Um, there's just a few more things we need to change. Here's the live site. I'd like to change the color of these. So on all the headers, I'd like to change that color. I think I'd like to make this italics. And then I want to create a hover tag for these. So let's start with the color on these two, the color and the italics. Let's go to the CSS to begin the changes. And I'd like to talk to you about using multiple HTML tags as a selector. So we begin with H1, then we'll type a comma and say H2. Curly brackets. And now we can put our styles in here. The styles will affect both H1 and H2. So the first thing I'll add is color. Now, only on the H2, would I like to make the font italic. Well, let's take a peek at it, see what it looks like. So now these are not black and the H2 is italics. So now we're going to talk about how to make a hover tag for these. I want the links to look a little more special. Um, so I'm going to go to W3 Schools. And I want to talk about styling links because I have a trick that I like to do here. So I'm going to look for, it's great to read through this so you understand it. But I'm going to use this example. I'm going to just copy everything to show you what it looks like. I'll put all these link styles down here. This color of blue. So it goes with my color scheme. I would also like an active link not to have underline. So that's text decoration and none. So now let's save this. You can see the underline is gone. And now I would like my visited link to be a different color. There we go. That's my visited link color. I would also like the underline to be off of the visited link. Save. Let's look at it here. Now my active link and my visited link are the colors that I've just named. Now the mouse over, let's change that color. I'd like to make this white because I want it to be very brilliant. And now I want to give it a background color. This is going to look nice. I'll explain it. Save. So here's what it's looking like now. See that hover? I think that's nice. I can see I'm going to have to add some padding to make that fill the space. Now I would like my uh, A active, which is the selected link. I would like that color to be, again, in my color scheme, it's a dark green. I would like this to have no underline. There we go. There we go. And for padding, I'll put that on all of them. Save. Let's see what that looks like. All right, I think what I'm looking at now is this 
space from here to here a little more than I'd like. I'd like the hover to be the full space here. So I'm going to go to Nav and change this to 3 so that it matches all of my link. That's 5. Okay, I'll make it 5. 5. Let's do a save. Much better. And then I also feel like the width of this text is a little too much. So I'm going to create something for the P tag and the UL. This is another multiple selector. So I'll put P comma UL curly brackets. And just to make sure it stays centered, I'll set a width first of, I think, 600 will be good. And margin auto. Remember, this will keep it centered. That's better. And now I don't want this text to be so close to the uh, images. So in that same selector, I'll just put some padding. Save. Oh, much better. All right, that's it. That's the end of Lab 4. Don't forget, make a printout of each page, each of the pages, and then print your styles and your index. All right, let's validate the code. That's our last step. I've bookmarked the validator, so I'm going to go to my bookmark. I hope you've bookmarked it too. I'm going to validate by direct input. So first I'll copy my HTML, control A, control C, and check. Document checking completed, no errors or warnings to show. Now, oh that was the source, yeah that was my source code, but now I'll validate my CSS. Remember how important it is to do your validating. Excellent. So that's the end of that lab. And let's just review quickly the last thing that we learned. These are the styles on the style sheet. This is the selector. This is the style rule. The uh, HTML5 tags are here. That's what gave my site some structure. I have a header section, a nav section, a main section, and a footer. And down here, these are called pseudo-classes. So this is a class with a semicolon. All right, good job on Lab 3.